And this other page is going to be the the log activity page. I'm just going to go ahead and keep just keep doing the dashboard. So we're going to have here have text. Oh. Dynamic text. First, I want to make sure this page is set to this is for an activity. Actually, it's not. This is going to be contact. Sorry. So we want this to be a contact. So. Log activity with current pages contact. We'll do their first name. Page contact, last name. Great. So, log an activity with them. Now we want our activity types here again, so let's do a drop down for the type of activity. For some reason, it showed up very little. So let's just make that go away. We'll do a new one. Do a drop down. Perfect. Double click. Dynamic list of choices will be a activity type. All activity types. Current option. Let's display. It will start with call. So it's going to default to call. And then we want a box to basically describe what we're doing. And then, since sometimes we log things late, let's add a date and time picker to it. So we can just change the date on it. There we go. And then this button will log the activity. So, start that workflow. I need to add some stuff to our activities now. We need to add date. Just do text for everything for now. Date of the activity. We want to add the activity information. And actually on this, let's make it so they have the ability to add like an activity title because that would might also be good to have. Perfect. So we go. Activity title. Right, activity notes will be the Multi-line input activity notes value. Activity title will be input activity titles value. Activity information, you guessed it. Activity notes. Cool. So I made two things for the same one. Just delete that. I can go into my data actually. 
I can go to uh, data types I can go to my activity and I can delete that so I made notes and information I don't need both I'm gonna delete information I think I like notes better great back to workflow and there we are so date will be the in time picker A's value perfect so after we log out we need something to happen right we don't want to stick here I'm gonna navigate go to page go to new account data to send because we what information did we send to this page we did we sent a customer so we sent a contacts name to this page, right? So this is a contact, right? So what we want to do here is when we go to a page, we want to do a search, for the account, the account uh, unique ID should equal current page contacts account assignment. Then nah, we'll go to the first item. So what that'll do is it's going to say the contact we were just adding stuff to. We are going to go ahead and say that person's account is what we needed to sign this to. So let's make sure we add all the fields we need here. We also need the contact. This is on current page comes contact unique ID. So we know what contact got this. Let's check and make sure we have all these fields. We want the account as well. So we need to do a search for the account. And the account has to, again, equal unique ID, should equal the current page contacts, signed account. Let's we'll do first item. Again, it's only going to bring back one item, but And this is turning red because we need to grab that unique ID there. So the account's unique ID, the contact's unique ID, the account notes, activity title, date, that's everything we're going to need. And we're going to have it shoot back and send the account information back to that page. And then we will be able to see all of that information on the account page. Well, we won't be able to drill in, but we'll be able to see a lot of the information. We just have to have a place for that button, um, which we should put next to the account. So we have the quick button here for, for leaving a voicemail. We have a button here for a... Oop, I wanted to make that a little bit shorter. I wanted it to be shorter like the uh, voicemail button. Make that a little bit taller, actually. There we go. Logativity. There we go. And what this will do is this will navigate us to the page we just built. So it will take us to log activity and it will send current cells contact. Let's see how that works. Test one. At least log activity. Loading, loading, loading. Great, now it's log and activity. This is actually a good opportunity to say please subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of these uh, videos. You'll be updated as they uh, come out. So. I'm working on these kind of in my free time, slowly as, uh, you know, doing it after work. So if you have a chance, subscribe. Uh, more subscribers, more likely to want to continue to do these faster. Um, 
It's also fun to do, so they're going to happen anyway, but more subscribers easier. Also, we're going to clean this up later and make it look prettier and make things the same size. I like to just go in and make sure everything is um, functioning first. So uh, what do what I want to put here? So I can do a meeting, I can do a call, email. Let's just do a call. Let's say we did a call yesterday. Called Phil. Door. Um, and then notes. You know, this is everything we talked about. The new door. Size information. Perfect. A lot of the activity. Make sure it does everything it needs to do. So remember, this sent all that information back here. So if I scroll down here, I should have another activity fill, but didn't grab something there. It didn't grab what we did. Let's find out why. Let's go into our data. Let's go into our activities. We don't have it dictating the activity type, apparently. Thought we did that. Let's go back here to log activity. Oh, title, not type. Type. Oop. Input drop down to A's value. We only have one drop down, so we know that's the right one. Perfect. Now let's do it. Go back to the account real quick. Pull up right account. If I do something in there, it's just going to um, create activities that aren't attached to anything, so I won't have any way of actually viewing them because they're, all my parameters say it has to be attached to things. So let's log an activity with fill door. Also, I have those in descending value. I want to change them to ascending value. So let's do an email, activity title, emailed. Hey, call me. I did that then. Log activity. Now I'm back here. And the email showed up. Great. We can also change it so you can view the title of everything here. Um, pretty much whatever you want to put in this, uh, based on the fields we have, you can. Um, I want to actually go back to that page again. And I want to change something real quick just because it'll make it easier to view. You know, as we go. View account. Let's go to the this search sort by date descending. Now let's do yes and see what it looks like. Also, it reminds me with our voicemail here, we don't have a date. Start at workflow. We'd like it to have a date. Now that we're tracking dates that things have occurred, we could even run a report to see how many activities are happening on a given day. And then we can track them by the creator and then we'll be able to say what sales reps are doing the most activities. So that's just long-term thinking. Uh, we want the current date. I like to do them formatted this way. It's just a little bit easier. The user's time zone. Perfect. So now I'll grab that date there. Um, preview page, go back to accounts, test, there we go, changed it so now dates are all showing up and email, perfect, it's in the uh, order I wanted. So the next thing we're going to work on actually is make it so you can click this and you can view the notes inside of there uh, and see what this actually was that we logged with him. And later we'll be able to add sales stuff. So what we'll do is we'll actually take this and we'll drop it down further and we'll add a sales section up here so you can sell stuff in. And then we'll also at that time look at adding products and stuff. Again, hey, subscribe. I'm making more of these videos. I'm making CRM right now. Um, it's going to be a simple CRM. It's a CRM that you'll be able to uh, kind of take and wanted to do a bunch of other stuff with. Uh, we'll be doing some light inventory work inside of here. And depending on how... 
adventurous we decide to be with it. We might do some a little bit more in-depth uh, inventory work so sales reps can see how much inventory is left when they go to sell something, but that'll be a few hours into everything. I think we're maybe an hour into recording here. Yeah, about that. So good stopping point. Um, I'm going to try to release a video every few days. I film more on Fridays and Saturdays than any other time, but go ahead and subscribe. A thumbs up helps um, get more people to uh, take a look. More people we can help with this kind of stuff, the better. No code apps are awesome. I uh, I love working with them. Now whenever I look at an app I uh, or program, I think about how I can rebuild it, and that's just this... It's a whole new adventure every time you go to try to uh, build stuff on a Saturday. Sometimes I just try to rebuild stuff I've seen just, just for fun. So go ahead, uh, play around with the different things we've looked at here. Um, it's just learning how to use a few basic things right now. We're going to go a bit more in-depth later, and it's uh, starting to get a little bit more complicated the more we add.